Good morning, guys. Good morning. And I am so glad that you are here with me today on this Tuesday thought of the day. And if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button and bell notification so we can stay connected and receive a daily dose of spiritual inspiration. And I just want you to know that on Tuesdays in our community, we take one thought that we can ponder on throughout this day because believe it or not, the enemy is after our minds and he works through people and our circumstances and situations to distract us from the things of God, which is optimistic things, loving things, kind things, gentle things, just great things. He wants to take our mind and downshift it into a lower thought pattern to a lower frequency so that we will begin to experience things that we don't want to experience. So in order for us to elevate our mind, then we have to place our thoughts on something that's directly connected with the things of our creator, with the things of God. So I just wanted to let you know that on this Tuesday, the thought of the day is this, that it is never too late. Many of us, are in our middle age, and some of us may be a little younger or maybe even a little older. And society has told us that the prime of our life lies in our youth, what we're able to do <clears throat> in our 20s or in our 30s, right? But God is saying that it is never too late. If we think about Abraham and Sarah, they had just given up having a child, period. But it was in their later years that God, you know, kind of made them laugh when he gave them this thought, this blessing, this son. And um, like many of us, like Sarah and Abraham, like them, you know, we get our mind just contaminated with low thoughts. And we feel that because we're at a certain point in our life or that we've made so many mistakes in our lives that we will never be able to really get a hold of our lives and succeed, reach goals, have health, have wealth, have success, have abundance, have a loving relationship because we've experienced failures in our life. But if you really understand how I do, I don't even look at a failure as a failure. I really look at that as a lesson and an opportunity for me to be better, an opportunity for me to learn something that I didn't know before, an opportunity for me to advance spiritually and in my consciousness so that I could be that much better. And I just wanted to reach out on this Tuesday thought of the day to let you know that God is saying to you this today that no matter what, it's never too late. It is never too late for you to get prayers through, for you to get whatever you feel inside of your soul in this dimension. So God, as we lift our hands, we raise our voices, open and expand our mind to receive your presence, God. We surrender today. We surrender any low thought that we may have that is conflicting what you said in your word about us. God, we are so grateful that you are an infinite God, that that means that you never change, that you're always the same today, tomorrow, and forevermore throughout eternity. And God, because we are directly connected to you as your sons and as your daughters, God, we understand that we have like privileges. We understand that we have like power. We understand that everything that we want, we can receive it because our our life is just covered in the blood of Jesus Christ and we know that no good thing you will withhold from us. I want to thank you, God, for giving us more opportunity every time we roll up out of the bed. You give us a new day with new mercy and all the great things that we could ever imagine. And I am so grateful, God, that it is never too late to, for us to succeed. It's never too late for us to live out a dream. It's never too late for us to co-create with you. It's never too late for us to be saved by you. It is never too late for us to begin to walk on water. It is never too late for us to be able to be financially free. God, it's never too late for us to mend or for you to mend our broken heart. God, it is never too late for us to experience a rebirth in this dimension. 
Like rain, God, you want to pour down your greatness on us like rain. God, we want to thank you for letting it fall right now. In the name of Jesus, hallelujah. We want to thank you for allowing your goodness and your richness and your never too lateness to fall upon us. And as you go about your day on this Tuesday, I want you to understand that man may lie, but God never lies. And with each day is new mercy given to you. Why? Because it's never too late. And until the next video, guys, peace, because I still believe in you. Bye now.